Welcome to Kojo's guys, about to get our legs smashed. So, this is the Sanctuary, you've seen the video already, back here again, gonna get it done. I'll talk us through it, hope you enjoy. Right guys, resuming the video, before I do a little bit of talking over because I did put some music on to obviously get in the zone and the music was not copyright friendly. So right now, I'm just gonna talk you through the movements. Um, after extensions, I wanted to follow up with some more direct quad work. So I basically just was looking for a variation of press that allows me to get you know, extreme knee flexion without any back loading. So the hammer horizontal press was the perfect candidate. Um, two sets on here, weight stayed exactly the same. And I just shot for failure between 12 and 15 reps. Was it excessively heavy? No, but the contraction on this, if you perform this with a slow eccentric is second to none. I don't think anything is uh, quite on par when it comes to a press with knee flexion. I think it's my favorite variation of press. So uh, yeah, I'll let you see this through and then I'll show you the next exercise. Now, I won't lie, I wanted to hit a variation of squat that would allow me to implement a little bit more overall leg. So I opted for the straight Smith bar squat so that I can kind of load the glutes, hams and quads all evenly. So 
So you'll notice my stance isn't as narrow as on the press, slightly wider. My knees are driving out slightly and I'm really trying to focus on obviously flexing my quads as hard as possible on the way up, but also considering my glutes as well. I find it's a good crossover exercise for entire leg work. So you can do this preceding additional hamstring work if you're gonna follow up with more hamstring work. All in all, great exercise. Again, two sets, same setup. Just worked myself to a, a kind of safe mechanical failure. Lots of effort, lots of energy turnover. Great exercise for anyone that's trying to, number one, get strong, but two, try and get in shape. So I always follow up quad work with a stretch, prolonged stretch, 90 seconds, try and get my rec fem, psoas, really, really lengthened, because I get very tight there, and if I leave it, what I'll notice is over the course of the week after training legs, I end up getting really, really tight, so I can't perform leg raises, I can't perform anything really, so this is more of a countermeasure. But I think it is also beneficial from a standpoint of helping the muscle develop and grow and detail in the quad. So definitely worth doing if you don't do this. Back to hamstrings. Now I really want to isolate in, seeing as we started with that lion hamstring curl. I want to brace. Brace hard, contract hard. I don't want to excessively load now because I've done my loading. But I do want a reason why I don't want matter weight because ultimately this is a game of bodybuilding and hypertrophy. But you'll find that the trade-off between weight, form and isolation has got to be very critical. So with a braced machine, I feel like I can load the muscle better without excessively loading the machine. So that's why I really love this option, especially later in the workout when you know energy is a little bit lower. I can just purely focus on quality of contraction. Uh, two sets on here. Literally, same setup again. Nothing crazy. I'll add my extensions. I did two sets as well, by the way. All right. Finishing off the upper thigh. Hit some abductors. I literally just do one all out set on here. Um, very good machine, hits the spot. Obviously there is a lot of abductor work in pressing and squatting as well. Um, but on this particular day, I decided to do one set. Cause I actually pulled back my volume a little bit on today's workout, cause this was a high day. Um, and I wanted to allow for the food to go a little bit further than usual. So I actually scaled back by a set cause typically I'll do anywhere from four sets per exercise but only for six exercises which would be 16 sets so i actually scale back to what would be the equivalent of three exercises per uh, three sets per exercise which would total 12 sets i believe on the legs um obviously hamstrings and quads are both involved so splitting that up is quite easy to kind of work out uh, calves are included which you'll see now Great machine actually. So this I go back to the three sets. Three sets of 15 to 20 ideally on here. Good amount of load, good amount of range. I think with calves really, you just gotta not sell yourself short by not getting the stretch. I think a lot of people get on a calf machine and just press, but don't take into account the downwards phase. I like to let my heels sink quite far below my toes. Um, and that way you drive from the, the length and position. Whereas a lot of people kind of remain in that short region, which is really not gonna benefit you massively in terms of growing your calves. Anyway, great machine. Right, moving on to biceps. First, I like to start with a braced movement. Um, on this, I'm just focusing on driving my elbow back down into that pad hard, trying to let the shoulder roll too far forward and uh, just making sure that the bicep takes the load, especially on that eccentric portion. Driving that elbow back towards my hip as hard as I can, allowing the bicep to take maximum load. Keep the wrist strong, 
not a loose wrist. And I say just focus purely on contraction. Two sets. So following such movement, I like to move over to typically a cable station where I can initiate the pull from in line with the body. So you'll notice I take a few steps forward, allow the tension to begin from the bottom. Unilateral curl, but I do it dual. And I like to keep the elbows tight to the body, shoulders down and back. Just really focus on driving up without too much body movement. I do believe body English is necessary. And you'll see that in some of the later reps. But initially, I like to keep everything very braced. Not one that I can go overly heavy on. Very isolated. But feels great. Highly recommend. Two sets on here also. Excuse the faces. I pull some funny faces when I train. All right, final exercise. Hammer variation. Uh, so I'm just sorting out the rope, just putting it so it's a single rope. Just gonna do some slight cross the body hammer curl on the same cable station with a little bit more weight, I believe. I might have gone up, I might not. But it's uh, hammers you'll find typically you can usually lift a touch more. I just like to include these in every single bicep session because I feel that that outer bicep needs that work. So I'll at least do a set per workout. Today's session was literally just one set of these. I'll add also, to be honest, you won't see it because I never really film it, but I always train abdominals as well after upper body sessions. Um, obviously this not being an upper body session, I didn't train abs that day, but in their place I train calves. So if you're anyone that's wondering how I train calves and abs, calves is always after I do majority lower body work and then abs is always after and majority upper body work. So if I'm pushing chest, shoulders, then I'll hit abs. If I'm pushing back, sorry, if I'm pulling with back, then I'll hit shoulder, um, abs. And that's how it works. Simple stuff, bodybuilding. Just go get in your zone, go concentrate, feel the body work, and bloody enjoy it. Right guys, there we have it, leg action done. Legs and biceps, strange split, yes, to some. I just don't like doing my biceps anywhere else in the week. Don't like doing them off the back, don't like doing them off the chest or shoulders. So I started putting them off the legs. Um, the workout was very simple. Uh, we started on some lying hamstring curl. We did, th we did three sets on the lying hamstring curl. We followed up with the horizontal hammer press for two sets. We did two sets on the Smith squat. Uh, I tried to go for a slightly wider stance to hit a little bit more AS. Um, then we did a long stretch on the psoas and rec fem. Followed that up with the two sets of the seated prime curl. Then we did one set of the abductor. Followed that with three sets of standing calf raise. Followed that with three sets of prime single arm curl. Then I moved on to the uh, dual stack bicep curl, regular style and then one set in the hammer formation. And that was it, that was the workout. So hope you enjoyed, stay tuned for more, kind of raw, just basic stuff. 
and like I say just want to put out some stuff out there show you what I'm up to and uh, if you like it comment share sub sub is the big one and I'll see you on the next one peace